Good morning. It is Monday, August 12th, and as you're watching this, it's probably either Saturday the 17th or Sunday the 18th, uh, because I do my weekly updates and update you guys on how I did following WW and with my activity, etc. weigh in. I uh, bunch it all together. So today's Monday for me. So Sunday, I woke up to a bunch of messages on YouTube saying, Sandy sent me. So I go to one of my new favorite YouTube channels, Let's Get Fit with Sandy, and I see she posted her usual weekly shout out post. And I realized that she did a shout out for me, which was super sweet and super awesome. Um, I really enjoy watching her channel as it is because it feels like you're just sitting down and having a conversation with her talking about, you know, healthy lives. And, uh, but to hear her shout, do a shout out for me was, was pretty awesome. So that definitely made my weekend. <laughs> so thank you again, Sandy, if you're watching, uh, for that shout out. And thank you to those who came from Sandy. Thank you for subscribing and checking my channel out. I hope you will stick around and follow my journey. And, you know, I feel like the people that have subscribed, I feel like we're in this journey together, which is really cool. In last week's update, I went to a new place every day for my walk. And this week, that's probably not gonna happen, going to a new place anyway. But um, I'm still gonna get my 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes of walking in every day. I'm just gonna end up doing it in my neighborhood because I do have a lot that I have to get done this week. I have to go to two places on two separate days where I will most likely be spending hours in a waiting room. <laughs> uh, fun days. But I'm going to make time to show up for myself and I'm still gonna get out and walk every day. So it is Monday and I am left with six weekly points left over. And the reason being is because my husband and I went out on Friday for date night, which we haven't done since December. So that was really nice and well worth the weekly points. We went to a vineyard, a local vineyard on Friday night, and then we went out to eat at a local tavern. So there were some beverages that were had uh, and good food. I made some sensible choices with my food. I will insert a picture of my salmon salad and there's an airplane. I will insert a picture of my salad and I will also insert a picture of my husband and I on date night to share that bit of my life with you guys. <laughs> So that was a great night and I tracked everything, which is such a huge thing for me because in the past I would have said, no, I'm going to go enjoy myself and not track it. But I enjoyed myself and I tracked it. I even pre-tracked it. So I looked on the menu of where we were going and I pre-tracked it. There were some extra things that I ended up having, but I tracked those as well. So. I feel like that was a huge non-scale victory for me. And yes, I'm starting my week with six weeklies. I feel like if I hadn't tracked that, I would have been left off with far less weekly points. So, good choices. What I didn't do this weekend on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I did not walk. Um, I haven't really been specific on my goals, and I think for myself going forward, I need to be specific on my goals. <laughs> So I don't try to find a loophole for myself, but here I am walking now. And Friday and Saturday, I did not keep track of how much water I was drinking. Sunday, I realized that's what was happening. And I made an effort to track how much water I was getting in. And I did get in the 80 ounces of water yesterday. So I, weekends are not for slipping up, but that seems to be the trend for myself for the past few weeks. So I guess that's something that I should work on. Next week, um, actually, as you're watching this in a couple of days, I will be going on a camping trip. And camping for me in the past has always been about food. I'm trying to 
be mindful of that and be careful of that. And I have been planning for quite some time now our camping meal plan. I am not a meal prep person. I am not a super far in advance meal planning person. But when it comes to camping, I am. Because if you've ever been tent camping, you have to prep everything. Otherwise, you're spending your whole time prepping food in an unfamiliar setting. So, I do plan on vlogging every day while we're camping. And I will probably do one video per day, um, including my meal prep day. So, once I come back, I will edit those videos and post them for you because I do know that you can still stay on plan when you are in a setting where there's going to be a lot of food. And I don't know if it's just me, but uh, I've been camping many times and it always seems to be focused on the food. And there's so much more to do when you go camping than eat. But I wanna make sure that I'm thinking ahead and planning ahead for healthier choices this time around. I'm home from my walk, and I realized I said I didn't walk on Friday. I did walk on Friday. I walked before I went to my workshop, which you saw in last week's video. So look at me, selling myself short. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go shower because I'm glowing. <laughs>
this Wednesday morning. Get my new weeklies on Friday. But my first thought was, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. So had I just tracked the pizza, I wouldn't have felt the guilt. I would have felt better about it. And I still would have started over today. So looking back, I realize it wasn't worth not tracking it. The tracker's not gonna judge me. Just track it so you know where you are. It's a tool. So I'm glad I went back yesterday. And it's negative 14 points for my weeklies. So what? I made the conscious decision today to take charge of the way I was doing things. And, and I made the decision to not cheat myself because if you're not tracking, you're not using the tools the way it's supposed to be used and you're not gonna get anywhere. And when I say you, I'm talking to me. <laughs> but if you're watching this and you feel like you can relate, then maybe I'm talking to you too. So I'm grateful for this WW community and knowing that we're all in this together. So if you're struggling today, just go track it. Tracker's not gonna judge you and move on. So that's what I'm doing. I did walk yesterday. I only got in one bottle of water, but it is what it is. I am moving forward and hopefully I will just continue to do what is best for me. I will check back in tomorrow, guys. Bye. Okay, so it's Thursday and I'm out walking. And do a quick recap, I still have 14 weeklies left. Tomorrow is weigh-in. And I only got two bottles of water in yesterday. And I went to bed at midnight. Uh, it's close to three o'clock. I'm just getting out walking now. But I'm getting it done even though it's like 86 degrees and muggy as ugh. But I'm walking. I will check back in tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday. I wanted to do a quick update before I go in for my workshop and I will reflect and do more of that and touch upon my goals for last week and next week after I weigh in. But I wanted to pop on and do an update about my walk this morning. In my mind this morning, I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I'm gonna weigh in. If I walk before weigh in, I wonder if you retain water or if that'll affect the scale before I go weigh in. I'm like, am I really doing that? <laughs> am I really breaking it down that way mentally? I'm like, no, that's not the point. Yes, you know, it might affect weigh in, but I need to get out and walk and I might not be able to do it later. So here I am, obviously you've seen the choice that I made. So regardless of how the scale is later, you know, Yes, I had some ups and downs this week, but I walked every day that I said I was gonna walk. Well, minus Saturdays. <laughs> um, but, you know, this is the journey. It's up and down, it's bumps, it's hills, it's peaks, it's valleys. Just don't give up, and I'm not giving up. And I wasn't gonna justify not walking because of the scale, because that makes absolutely no sense. On this journey, anyway. So I will check back in a little bit with my results and yeah we'll see how things go and I have some ideas for next week so keep watching all right I'm here made it to my workshop gotta go in let's do this all right guys so I'm back from my workshop I went in and I weighed in and I gained again I'm just gonna come right out and say it I'm up 0.6 of a pound uh, as you saw, I struggled a little bit this week. Last week, I did everything by the book and I gained a whole pound. So not really sure what's going on. It's, this is the first time in six months that I've gained two weeks in a row. So I'm a little frustrated with that, but it is what it is. I still know that this happens. So I'm going to just keep swimming. That's all we can do, right? I'm not going to give up. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. So you saw my struggles. I do wanna show you my whiteboard really quick so you can see exactly how I did with my goals. So as you can see from my 
super high-tech tracking device when I was keeping track of my goals. So I was tracking my water, my walking, and tracking, and then sleep. My goal was to go to bed before 11 o'clock for four days. As you can see, I only got three days in. Tracking. I did track everything this week. I'm not counting Tuesday because that was the day that I decided I wasn't going to track, but then I tracked the next day. So technically, I still tracked everything this week. I just skipped it that night. So I'm not going to count that as accomplishing the goal for that day because I did choose to not track that night. Walking. I walked every day except for Saturday and Sunday. Um, I have been keeping that up. I've been doing actually, my goal is to do 20 minutes of walking and every day that you see a check mark, I actually did 25 minutes of walking. So I've increased it a little bit. I pushed myself a little further. With water, I did not do as well as I did last week. Thursday, yesterday, I did get in my 80 ounces of water. I just forgot to put a check mark. So that's how I did with my goals for last week. While I was walking this morning, I wanted to mention that I got another shout out this morning from another YouTube channel that I, I really love, that I've done a couple collaborations with, and that's Kate and Angela from Snack Vision. They are actually from Connecticut as well, and it's funny because they talk about working at the Cheesecake Factory, and if you go back to the beginning of my YouTube channel, I had mentioned while doing Weight Watchers, I went to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm not sure if it was the same one. I don't think it is. I think they're a little bit further away from where I live. I think they were about 40 minutes apart. Anyway, but I thought that was pretty interesting. And I was thinking about that this morning. But it was really nice that they did a shout out for me. So if you are not subscribed to them, go check out their channel. They are freaking hilarious. I love them. <laughs> And I especially love when they do the roll call because they get their viewers involved. And, and you can tell that they're really trying to pull together the WW community on, on YouTube, which is really cool. And I enjoy watching that every week. As far as goals go for next week, I'm going to keep it simple. Like I mentioned before, I'm going camping next week and it is a super busy week before we even go camping. We leave on a Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday are like jam packed. I would like to say that I'm going to stop and make some time for myself to get activity in. And I do plan on it in the back of my mind, but I'm not going to make it a goal because if I don't, I don't wanna beat myself up about it. While we're camping, I know I will be active. I do have a water goal because I want to make sure, especially while I'm camping, that I'm staying hydrated. My goal is to get in two of my water bottles, which is 64 ounces of water between now and next Friday. Also, next Friday, or actually next week, is my six month mark with WW, this part of my journey. I am doing a six month update. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it next week or if I will be doing it the following week. When I joined WW this time around, I knew I had to come to the workshops. I never made it a goal to make sure that I went every week, but I went every single week for the last six months. Next week is the six month mark, like I said. And I can't miss, like, I don't want to break my streak now. So I looked up a workshop that is near where we're going camping and I found a workshop. So my goal, my big goal next week is to go to that workshop. And that might seem like, you know, something, you know, why would you want to go to a workshop while you're on vacation or while you're camping? Because I don't want to break that streak. It will make me feel so good if I go to that and I can say I accomplished six months straight of going to workshops. So that's my goal. 64 ounces of water and going to that workshop. I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to enjoy myself while I'm, while I'm camping. However, next week I will be vlogging every day while I'm camping. I want to do like a what I eat in a day kind of vlog while I'm camping to share these foods that I've planned with the WW community or the healthy life lifestyle community. So you can see that even when you go away, you can plan for these things. And there are absolutely treats involved. <laughs> So I won't be doing a, my traditional weekly update vlog next week, but I do plan on doing the camping vlogs. The point of me vlogging those days is number one, to hold myself accountable, and number two, to share that there are different options that, that you can use while away. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you stick around to continue to follow my journey. I really do feel like in this community, we're in this journey together. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the videos you see over here. Please hit the thumbs up if you did like this video down here. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button up here and the notification bell so you can be alerted the next time that I post a video. I will see you guys in my next video.